Interest. One of the things that comes up when talking about money is the subject of interest. That's not how interested you are in money, but how much money is paid to you or owed by you when borrowing or lending money. The first thing we're going to look at in this video is simple interest. Simple interest is the kind of money you tend to get from your bank accounts. Now, it might often seem like the bank only takes your money, but most of us usually do get a little bit of interest on the money in our accounts. That is, if we can manage to keep them from being overdrawn all the time. Most bank accounts will have an interest rate associated to them, usually something between 1 and 5%. For this video, we're going to imagine that we've got an amazing account that pays us a staggering 10% interest. This means that every year, our lovely bank pays us 10% of the money we've kept in our account over the year. So if, for example, we manage to keep £1,000 in our account all year, then we get a whole £100, which is 10% of 1000 paid into our account. This leaves us with £1,100 at the end of the year. Of course, in reality, most of us struggle to keep money in our account from one month to the next. Simple interest can also be paid in the other direction. When we're making a big purchase, we will often need to get a loan from the bank. This time, of course, the interest rate will probably be higher. Those poor banks need to make plenty of money after all. So this time, we've borrowed £10,000 to buy a shiny new car. Well, second hand, but new to us. As this is a simple interest loan, the bank calculates the interest up front for us. Here, we've taken the loan at a very expensive 20%. That means that for every £1 we borrowed, we have to pay back 20 pence every year. For £10,000, that works out as a cool £2,000 to pay back on top of our loan, even if we pay off our loan within 12 months. With a loan, the longer you take to pay it off, the more interest you'll need to pay. This is why it's so important not to borrow more than you can afford to pay back. Of course, your loan may cost even more than this with additional fees and something called compound interest. For those of you studying maths at level 2 or higher, you may come across the concept of compound interest. The word compound means something made of two or more separate elements. In the case of interest, this refers to interest being applied to any previously earned or owed interest. It sounds complicated and it can be a bit difficult to work out, but the concept is actually quite simple. Let's go back to our bank account example where we diligently saved £1,000 over the course of a year. Over the course of that year, we earned 10% interest on our £1,000, which left us with £1,100 in our account at the end of the year. That simple interest. Now, imagine that we keep all the money in our account for another year. Hard to do with bills to pay, but look what happens. We've now been paid £110 interest. The interest from last year has also earned us interest. We've now got £1,210. If we waited another year, we get more than £120 interest. This is compound interest, and it's one of the reasons why people with lots of money find it easy to make more, and those without much money struggle to make ends meet. Why is this I hear you cry? Well, compound interest can also work in the other direction. When we are trying to pay off our credit card bills, we also have to pay interest on the interest we already owe. If we only make the minimum payments on our cards, then we can find ourselves in a horrible cycle where we take years and years to actually clear the money we borrowed. Compound repayments mean you can easily end up paying more in interest than you actually borrowed in the first place. 